Uh, so today I want to talk about how I went from this little TWA to like a full grown like Afro type situation. Um, so the first thing that I would do after I wash my hair for the week, I twist it up. I don't use any heat. I twist it up using my products. So I use Auntie Jackie's and I believe it's called Great Mane um, moisturizer. Twist it up, let it dry overnight. Uh, and so then when I, uh, when it dries or whatever, basically from there, I take a comb and I start to do my little twist in the front. But the way the half wig works is like basically the front of your head is showing. So I usually like braid it up. I'm just showing you here the products that I use, but I typically like braid it up, uh, in the front. And sometimes I switch it up every week. Um, so I don't, you know, get like a permanent part or something in the middle of my head uh, meant to also give my edges a rest so this is just me you know figuring out how i want it to be braided and from there i kind of like put my little edge control on there brush it up make sure that it's smooth um a little bit later you'll see that i also like to uh, clip my ends as i go um, and this is just if I notice as I'm combing it out, because basically what the twist do is stretches the hair. So it's not like super uh, coily. So once I, if I notice that I need to, like I'm kind of like pulling on it a little bit, I just go ahead and snip my ends a little bit. So this is me. I decided just to do like two braids on the side. Excuse me. So I do two braids on the side. And then I kind of, you know, adjust it as I go, figure out if I need more edge control and I just kind of work really really slow making sure to grab very small pieces of hair um at the ends I still like to take care of my ends so I'll try to make sure it's as smooth as possible um as I do that part and then I just kind of continue braiding it down and sometimes I may kind of like just twist my finger at the very very end um but once I finish with that then I just kind of like bobby pin it at the back I try not to braid too tight and I just kind of use me pulling it to the back as like the extra tension if I need it so here I'm just doing the same thing. You know, you untwist it, make sure you've parted it already if you want to do more braids. And then I snip my ends up again, and then I just braid down the side. From there, I'm basically done. Like, as you can see, the braid is done. And I take it, push it to the back um, if I need to. Um, and I must say, like, I only wear this style maybe for a week. I always take it out at night. I take the half wig off at night. And then, so one week I may wear my hair like this, and then another week I may wear it completely different. But each day that I put the half wig on, I switch the combs around in my head like they're never in the same space. Um, and so here you just see me um, making sure I, if I'm going to sleep, right, making sure it's all wrapped down tight. So that's the hair that I'm using um, and for the new season or whatever you know i just decided to get a new color but for the most part i usually just use black or 1b um, but i thought i would try this color um so here i'm just taking down my little wrap fixing my makeup and sometimes to make it as flat as possible i do like to use bobby pins and kind of like make sure everything is somewhat flat i'm not really looking for perfection um and i don't really want anything like super super tight on my head so I just make sure it's flat as much as possible and then I just keep it moving. Um, so eventually um, I just basically take the half wig and then I cover the back. Um, so I leave the twist, I cover the back um, and then I just make sure it's situated over the ends of my two braids that are out and then I just brush it. Um, and then, I, but before I brush it, I like to cover up like the top of the half wig with the with some hair. I probably should have used more hair here, and that's why I like using the one B, you know, the one that matches my hair. Because once I braid it and I flip it over, like you can, it kind of looks like it is my hair. Versus here, it's colored, so you can just tell that you know this piece of hair belongs to the the braid. So I probably should have put more hair here to cover it up, but. For the purpose of the video, this is what I do though. Every you know, whenever I do this style, and so once I flip the braid over to cover up the top of the half wig, then I just bobby pin it down, make sure I brush it, make sure it looks nice, um, make sure my makeup is on and everything, and then that's really just it. And so in the morning, it's just super easy because you're just brushing it. 
Um, and this is one of the half weeks. Like, yes, I want to say it is synthetic, but it lasts a decent amount of time. Like, if you wanted to do human hair, it probably would last even longer because it does get tangly. That's my only, like, issue with these sometimes. But I just go and get another one whenever I want to switch it up. Um, I've bought probably four of these. Um, I have a curly one. I got the wavy one. I got the straight one. Like, I love this style. Um, like I said, I don't wear it every week. I switch it up and wear it every other week. Um, and so basically, this is what this one looks like. I'll show pictures of what um, just straight black or one B looks like, and that's probably my favorite. But this is the style here. So as you can see, I like the black more. It just blends in with my skin tone better. But before you go, I want you to check out my Etsy store. We sell basically probiotics for your little one if they go to daycare or if they go to school. Um, often, sometimes you may want that extra protection to make sure that they are getting over those colds during the flu and cold season. So please go to my Etsy shop, Rosewood Technologies or Rosewood Tech & Co. Uh, the, the, the link is in the description bar below.